Hi everyone, so I have here a professional core system kit um, by Young Nails and I received it in a bag like this and I will show you what all comes in here and this is the one that I got you can see by Young Nails and everything that came in it was this oops sorry about the glare and we'll go ahead and read to you what it contains it came with two six ounce nail liquid 145 gram of pink 145 gram of clear 145 gram of natural 145 gram of white 145 gram of tri triple X white one ounce rose cuticle oil one 100 artistic forms one ultraviolet one 100 and one 100 100 file 1 180 180 file 1 240 240 combo 1 180 180 combo 1 180 180 sponge 1 glass dapping dish 1 manicure brush 1 eyedropper 1 8 ounce of swipe 1 half ounce this is bush on glue which is brush on glue it has um one fourth, I'm sorry, one one fourth ounce of protein bond, 150 pack of natural tips. This is 150 pack of clear tips, 150 pack of white tips, and one artistic sculpture, which is the brush. Mm -hmm. So I'll just show you what it all came with. Whoops, and I my lighting is falling over again. <laughs> Whatever. So here are the two six ounce bottles of monomer. Can see it. And it came with two. And it came with this swipe. Sorry if it's if it's two. It came with this swipe right here. And I believe this is for it's just um like a, it's like a um like an antiseptic alcohol. Yeah. That's all it is. And it came with three 50 packs of clear, natural, and white. This is what it came with. It also came with this ultraviolet. And it is a 5 flow ounce, which is 15 ml, like a nail polish. You can see it. Excuse my nails, I still haven't done them. It came with this one ounce of rose oil and it smells really really beautiful it smells like roses and those seem to be real rose petals in there yeah, it smells really good and this doesn't have a dropper or a brush on and they actually sent a um, a little dropper to attach it in there mm. let's see it came with a brush the protein bond, which is 7.5 ml. There is a protein bond. I came with. I'm sorry, I was just laughing because when I had opened the package, I smelt monomer and it was delivered FedEx. I smelt. Um, was it FedEx? I think so. Um, no, I'm sorry, USPS. And um, I smelt a little bit of monomer and the brush, you can see it. The monomer spilled and ate through this plastic. So I haven't opened it, but the brush says Young Nails Artistic Sculpture, and you can see. So it came with that. With the bush on glue. No, I'm playing. <laughs> it's brush on glue, but it in the paper it said bush on glue. So it came with that. It came with a dapping dish. A set of um, nail files that I named a minute ago. It came with a dropper, and I believe this is a hundred young nail forms right here. And let's see, let's see what else. I'm just trying to make sure I didn't forget anything. Okay, and then it came with, I haven't opened these, but it came, I got the cork, um, the core set, I'll explain that in a minute, but here is 
the um, white. You can see. Oops. There's the white. It came with the triple X white. It came with the natural. And I will show you how big the bottle is. And I believe these are like an ounce and a half, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Close to two ounces. Like an ounce. Yeah, close to, close to two ounces. And then it came with this uh, pink Cornell powder. And your standard clear. I got the core kit because they have a speed and a core. A core is like your regular set. Um, it could be medium set. I'm not sure. I'm actually going to do a um, a video. I have here a little bit of glitter mix mixed in with the clear um, from Young Nails, and I'm just I just need to pour some. I'm gonna try to get as close as I can. That way, you can see the consistency of the acrylic. So I paid ninety nine dollars, and it was free shipping. You have to have a license to order from them. And, um, whoops, and I'm spilling it. Okay. So, I'm going to smell and see. It doesn't really smell too strong, but that could be because I'm used to smelling the monomer, but I don't really smell too much of it. So, like I said, it could be that I'm just used to smelling it. And, um... So I have here your acrylic, I mean your monomer. I am going to just test, um, since triple X paint, I'm going to do a video on the consistency. I have here the clear that I'm going to be using. I'm going to set that right here. Also, I'll go ahead and do the pink as well to see and white is white so I'll just leave that out but I'll just let me try to get this open I was supposed to do this video yesterday but I was super busy and um, I said you know, I need to get this video so I know I said that I would and I know there's some people who wanted to some sweet ladies that wanted to know the my I guess wanted to see your review on it and here is the pink so I'll put those in where you can see uh oh uh oh no what did I do? okay okay I was like oh my god I got the tops confused but duh they have clear and um <laughs> so here is my glitter mix let me get it to the side so that that way okay and here is the nail whoops oh, I'm trying to get it in in frame well why is it so far <laughs> sorry about that and here's my brush I'm just using like a number number eight brush I'll go ahead and just start off um, I'm gonna go ahead and just dip it a little bit into the mix and just apply it and just to see like its consistency doesn't seem to be going anywhere so that's good you know you have those acrylics where they just start to um, and I'm, I'm dipping it here into my monomer just picking up a little bit more the mix it seems to stay where you put it. You can see it's not runny at all. Oh my god, I'm out of frame. I'll do that again. Put a little bit more. So, what I'll do is I'll let this dry. See, make sure you can see that focused yeah it seems to stay where it where I put the glitter which is good 
if you can see it hopefully it's focusing so that is that I'll give it a little bit time to dry and then I'll come back and encapsulate it and then I'll file it down and um, I'll file it down and they will encapsulate and then I'll let you know what so right here I have another nail sample I'm just gonna pick up the clear oh wait a minute you can see the, the pearl on the small bead of acrylic and I'm going to apply that you can see it just stays it doesn't move anywhere so you pretty much have have control and this in my opinion this acrylic is is awesome Sorry, I keep getting out of frame and I don't know why. Hope you can see it. There we go. Okay, and I'll apply just some pink. There is the pink. I don't have much on my brush. So let me see how that... Which to me doesn't even look pink. It just looks like... Clear. I hope my camera is focusing and it's not blurry. So, it's to me it it's awesome. I've never tried young nails, so I will turn it to the side and show you how it looks. It's not bumpy. It's not lumpy. The consist the cons consistency is great really really great I've tried so many products well I wouldn't say so many products but I've tried quite a few products and I'm like yes yes it works great I love it but you just want to keep trying products until you actually find the one that that you love and you just but this is great there's no runniness to it the application is awesome the consistency is great I have nothing negative to say about Young Nails Acrylic it's awesome so I'll come back to the glitter nail and I will encapsulate that for you so that you can see how it looks and how it, it goes on. I don't need um, too much monomer. I noticed that I didn't, I didn't need too much, sorry, that I didn't need too much, oh, this thing keeps turning on me, too much, um, I'm trying to see if I can get, I notice I don't need too much monomer when picking up some picking up acrylic. So I'm going to dip it into the clear enough to encapsulate. Here is the bead that I have. Maybe you can see how it's going on. It's just like it's not runny at all. So you have control of the acrylic. I love it. I absolutely love it. So there you have it. I will let this dry a little bit. I might need just a little bit more at the tip. Sorry, I'm just going to brush it backwards and try to get it in camera. So that is what it looks like. And let me see if I can put this paper behind it. That way though you can see what it looks like.
Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry for a little bit. And I'm going to put this up. You want, I will do, since that's drying, I'll go ahead and, um, excuse me, go ahead and pick up some more clear. You know what, let me, I'll pick up, I'll zoom in a little bit. Let me get these powders out the way. That way though, whoops, and there goes my phone. So let me zoom in. Here is the, ooh, it's too close. Here is the nail wheel. So I'm just going to pick up some more clear and I'm just going to apply it on a wheel and just show you how it just stays there. It's awesome. It's really, really great. I absolutely love it. So in my opinion, on young nails, it's really, really great. It doesn't seem runny or anything. I'm just waiting for this nail to dry but it is super cold in my house, so yeah. <laughs> I don't know how long it's gonna take to dry, but yeah. So what I'll do is just, I'll come back. Let me see if I can pause it. I'll come back with the finished results and show you with the clarity and stuff. So I'll be back. Hi everyone, so I'm back. I, it didn't take long at all to dry, so what I did is just lightly buffed it, and I mean like lightly, lightly buffed it. I didn't buff it too much at all. I just have here my China Glaze. Um, I'm sorry. It's by China Glaze, but it's Jalay's Top Coat. And what I'm going to do is just, you can see. Go over it. Let me I'm just trying to look at it through the light. Huh. Okay, so let me get a paper so that you can see the background of it. And then you can just tell me what you think. I do see a little bit of like tiny, tiny little bubbles. It could be the ratio, I'm not sure. But yeah, that is what it, I haven't put it in the UV lamp yet. It's just, um, just glossy and it hasn't been cured yet. So let me look at it again. Hmm. So yeah, there it goes. Hopefully you can see it. But that is what it looks like and that is the finished results. So in my opinion, I love, I mean I love it. absolutely love it the, you know just the way that it goes on how it stays put is is an a plus for me so yeah i hope this video was helpful if you want me to do another one um i can just let me know and um, i'll see you in the next one bye hi everyone so really really quick i um forgot to show you how the clear came out and um this is let me get that paper again this is how it came out looking. So I don't know if you can see it. At the tip, it does crystallize. At the tip, let me see if you can see it. And let me put my arm against it so you can see. Yeah, so it did give you like that crystal. It crystallizes at the very bottom. So that is not a good thing. Let me just buff it off. Not the crystal part, but the whole, um, just to buff it. And then let me see what kind of um, 
results I get when I'm going over it with the um, top coat. Maybe because I didn't put it, yeah, that's probably what it was because I probably didn't put enough at the bottom, but yeah, it's still kind of a cloudy effect. So I will show you again. This is it being buffed off, if you can see on my arm or on my wrist. Can you see that? Yeah, that's it being buffed off. So, or being buffed, the nail. So that is not a good thing. It could be the ratio, but yeah, it doesn't seem crystal clear to me because it looks cloudy. So that could be it. It could be the ratio. I'm probably not doing it right. But like I said, I'm new to this product, so I'm sure if I, once I get it down, then it'd be okay. But overall, I mean, like I said, in my opinion and my take on it, it's it's great. It stays where you place it. But I'm thinking it's the ratio. I probably had a little bit too much liquid versus um, acrylic. So, yeah, that's it. I just wanted to come and show you that last nail that I forgot to show you. Bye.